What it do, it's y'all, bro. It's your boy Dom here today, and as y'all can see by the title and thumbnail, today we are building this 610 Kevin Durant demigod build right now. Going back to 2K15 and even 2K22 next gen, 21 next gen, this won't be one of the demigod builds like that, but I'm telling you, he's very close, bro. This build gets elite contact dunks, also gets great shooting and good playmaker badges for his height. And then it will surprise you, but this build actually has great defense as well, bro. I won't cap. But before we get into it, make sure you guys do me one favor and just smash the like button. That's it, bro. Just smash the like button. Go crazy on that like button. Now let's go ahead and get into it, bro. Now starting off with this build, as you guys can see, the name is already set out, bro. Easy money. If you know, you know. We building that Kevin Durant build. That's the name we going with. Now for the position, we're going to go with small forward position. I didn't try power forward or shooting guard any of these. I just went small forward. I know that's what Kevin Durant plays. And then hand, we went right hand, of course. That's Kevin Durant. Now, I don't know. When it comes to y'all chat, what do y'all think is the better KD? Do y'all think number 35 or number 7? I'm going to say personally, I just got better memories with 35 because you got to think OKC and also the Warriors, bro. That was just a go to KD. But even number 7, that game that he had on uh, Milwaukee in the playoffs, one of the greatest playoff games of all time. That's what has me thinking about number seven. But I'm going to go 35 because, you know, prime KD or whatever. Now, when it comes to the body settings, bro, I'm going to take his height to 16. Weight, we're going to take it to 200 pounds, flat. And then for the wingspan, take this uh, 7 4. Now, look at the stats 81 ball handle, 86 three pointer, 94 driving dunk. And then an 83 perimeter defense and also get an 81 speed and 79 acceleration. And for the body shape, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't, I know it's Kevin Durant. And you want to be like as realistic as possible. Maybe go slight, uh, compact or whatever. I would personally go define. You know what I'm saying? I don't like making bigger players that's super skinny. I don't like making super uh, skinny players in general because I don't like looking like those little comp players running around. But I want to have a little bit of meat on my bones, bro. So I'm going to just go define on this. But if you guys want, of course, you can make it whatever your preference. All of these videos is your preference, bro. This is just like a blueprint. So moving on to the finisher, bro. Starting off with this build, we're going to give him a 67 close shot, you know, off the rip. Unlocking three finisher badges right there. Take his driver layup to 85, of course. In most of my build videos, you guys see that I try to hit that 85 driver layup just to unlock some of the good layup packages, like all of them plus Michael Jordan. We don't get long athlete, but we do get some very good layup packages. And then for the driver dunk, take this to 93. Come down to the standard dunk, take this to 70. And we unlock 17 finishing badges. Now for the strength, though, we maxing out the strength. This KD build does have max strength, so you will unlock that bronze bully, which is key on this build. You got an 85 driver layup. Plus that bronze bully allow you to get those like contact lips and stuff like that But now moving on bro, you come down to the shooting you want to take a three point to 84 I mean take a three point to 85 and it takes mid range to 84 and you unlock 23 shooting badges gold blinders gold green machine gold guard up gold catch and shoot silver limitless range though Silver dead eye and also silver agent three if you guys don't know agent three also does apply to stop and pop jump shots and stuff like that and also a variety of different jump shots it's not just spin around jump shots or moving jump shots but it applies to a lot of different things so agent threes we definitely need to have it on silver and now we move down to the playmaker bro take his ball handle to an 80 take his speed with ball to a 73 at max and then take his pass takes to a 75 unlocking that lebron pass style which speeds up your pass and plus you already have a 75 pass actually which is pretty decent and now moving down to the defense you guys may think this build is pretty much like just great on offense. I'm 6'10 with elite contact dunks, can shoot the ball very well, and also can handle the ball very good too. You would think that the defense is like slighted or something like that. No, we're taking his interior defense to 82, perimeter defense to an 80, and then take a steal to a 72. I know it's not the highest, but we had to sacrifice something on our defense. So the steal, it may be a little low, but for a big build like this, it's not low at all, but it's actually very decent. So steal to a 72, and then a block to a 75, unlocking that gold chase down artist. And then the rebound, it's going to be fairly low, but you got to mention, bro, this is not really a build that you will want to run at the power four or the center in a wreck anyways, or in any uh, setting like that. You can run them at the three in the park because rebounds like that is not as super important as it is in a wreck or pro-am setting. So this build definitely can run a three in the park, but just in terms of playing a power four to center in the mech, you, in a wreck, I mean, you may have a little bit of issues. But for now, playing like park and stuff like that or in a wreck as the three, you're perfectly fine, bro. 72 rebound will definitely get you along the way. So 18 defensive badges, 17 playmaking, 23 shooting, and 17 finishing. Now for the physicals, max out speed at 81, max at excel at a 79. You already get that 74 strength unlocking that bronze bully. Take his vertical to an 82 to unlock all the contact dunks, and then you want to take his stamina to a 95. And I forgot to do the free throw, bro. Take his free throw to a uh, 76. And this is the build right here. Like I... Y'all know, I don't get y'all no builds that's not good for the record program, bro. So you're looking at a build right here that gets an 85 three-pointer, unlocking that silver limitless range and also silver agent threes. And then he also gets that mini magician hall of fame. Y'all know Kevin Durant is one of the, like, 
best mid-range players of all time as well. And then, I, I, I understand, y'all may have a problem with this, the post control. Now, let me see some. Let me show y'all something, bro. If you want a post control, taking off elite contact dunks is not even enough. You get a 58, bro. And I don't think for where I'll be taking this build, like even the Rec or a Pro-Am or even Park, maybe for the tools court, it's good to have post control. But honestly, bro, I don't think it's that important because if you think about it, it's more important for us to be able to create our own shot off the dribble than it is for us to be trying to work in a post against where we're probably going to be guarded by bigger players anyway. So we wouldn't be like moving anything like that. But if we do get a mismatch, post control doesn't matter because it comes to a point where we just have a 74 strength and we're overpowering them anyway. So I don't think post control was that important. But once again, this is just a blueprint to whatever type of builds I want to make. If y'all want to make a build like this with post control, then maybe take his driver dunk and drive a layup down. Maybe take the ball handling down a little bit and also the perimeter defense. And then you can get like a decent post control. But me personally, I don't feel like it's that important on a build type this. I mean, a build like this. So now moving on to the takeovers. We get slashing, we get shot creating, we get sharp, and we get lock take on this 16 Kevin Durant video. Now, when you ask me, Kevin Durant, I would say he has something like maybe pull up precision and then limitless range secondary. I think that's a pretty good setup. But think about all the setups we can go with, bro. We can go finishing moves, shot creating, shot like. We can do anything with this build. If you want to play more defense, you got it. You want to be a better shooter, you got it. Better ball handler, you got it. Better finisher. You literally have it all in one build, bro. So I will once again go with this setup. Now, once you finish out the build, bro, the name that you get is a three-level score with shades of Paul George, Jason Tatum, and Xavier McDaniel. Now, let me go ahead and put him at a 99 so you guys can see what bad this hour run on this build. Now, first, when it comes to finishing, bro, the first thing that you want to do is put on that Hall of Fame protest. Now, if, if you use layup timing, if you don't use layup timing, then don't put it on because it doesn't work without layup timing. But if you do, bro, having layup timing already boosts your layup in general. So putting on Hall of Fame protest will increase the chance of you hitting that layup by even more. You know what I'm saying? So that's a great bass use for this build. And then also, Gold Slithery will help. Uh, gold Limitless Takeoff. And you want to come down here, Core Gold Posterizer. And then, like I said, we can't get that bronze bully. So if we get those, like, weaker defenders or smaller defenders on us, we just brush through them and get into the basket, bro. Now, think about it. I was low-key considering that if, if this build is made, bro, I would low-key consider putting those four extra bass points onto my finishing, bro. Because we can do something like Fearless Finisher on uh, Silver. Or if you don't use Protest, then I would definitely use that on Silver off the rip. But say that we was using Pro Touch and we wanted that Fearless, I will add the four from our from our quest onto Fearless, or you can even do Back Down Punisher. Uh, like, it's a lot of different things you can go with. It's all preference, but me personally, that's something that I would consider, bro, is putting this Fearless finish on uh, Silver. But then we move on to the shooting, which is a category that, like, you know what I'm saying? It got me a little hype, bro. I'm not going to lie. First thing we do is Silver Green Machine. Come over to Guard Up, put that on Gold. And you want to put that A's and 3's on silver. And then you want to core your uh, blinders on gold. And then you come over to limits range, put that on silver. And then we get Mini Magician on Hall of Fame. Like I said, bro, KD is one of the best players in the mid range. So you got to have a Hall of Fame Mini Magician. But if that's not your play style, then you can use these bads for somewhere else. Like Hall of Fame Volume Shooter. Or you can even take one off Green Machine and then go Bronze Dead Eye. I heard that bad is actually bad this year. So I just personally wouldn't use it. But yeah, it's a lot of different things you can do. But I know that KD is a, is a you know what I'm saying, mid-range magician. So, of course, we got to put that badge on. But if you don't want that, maybe you can go a Hall of Fame space credit. You never know. But that's the setup that I will go up for shooting. And now when it comes to playmaker, we actually get too many playmaker bads, believe it or not. Y'all may look at 17 and think, bro, that's not a lot. But think about it. We don't get too many high-tier badges like Hall of Fame or gold. So we get a lot of silver and bronze. So we're going to go silver quick first step, silver hyperdrive, silver clamp breaker, silver killer combos, bronze bailout, bronze handles for days and then we're gonna go bronze vice grip so we won't get ripped after getting rebounds and you want a core silver unpluckable and this is the setup you get a lot of playmaker badges bro and a lot of good ones too because some playmaker badges actually work excellent on silver bro even quick first step does hyperdrive does as well i haven't seen killer combos or clamp breaker on silver but i know those three or those two quick first step and hyperdrive those work excellent on silver so those are good badges to have plus we have bailout handles for days and also vice grip so that's a great setup and then of course the silver unpluckable is keying in. And now for the defense, bro. The defense, once again, we getting sticky, bro. We 6'10", long wingspan, 80 perimeter defense. We got to start off with that gold menace. And you want to do gold chase down artist, a silver challenger. Come down here to rebound chaser. Of course, they help you snag boards. Core that rebound chaser on bronze. Uh, you want to get bronze anchor. And then for the last point, you want to go intercept. And this is the setup that I would go with. So we're looking at a build, bro. Great defense. 80 perimeter defense. I'm 6'10". I'm long. I'm fast. I can play good defense. Now look at the uh, playmaking. We got silver quick first step. Good playmaking badges. Good playmaking stats. 80 ball handle plus a 73 speed with ball. We good on there. 
shooting. We're good at shooting. We're great in the mid range Hall of Fame mini magician. We're good there. Plus that goal blinders, by the way, down there. And then look at the finisher, bro. Elite contact dunks, plus finishing setups like this, or if you don't want pro touch, you know what I'm saying? Different setups and stuff like this makes this build one of the best small four builds in the game. If you guys agree, make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. And it's your boy Dom, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.